Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, I will try to create a user-defined function in Apache Spark using Scala. So let's start the video. If you have a SQL background, UDF are nothing new to you, as most of the traditional RDBMS database supports user-defined function, and Spark UDF are very similar. In Spark. You can create a UDF by creating a function in a language you prefer. For example, if you are using Spark with Scala, you can create a UDF in Scala programming language and wrap it with UDF function to use it on a data frame or register the function to use it with Spark SQL. If you are using Python for Spark, then you can write your UDF in Python programming language. So, for this video, I will create a UDF in Scala programming language. Let me go to my Eclipse ID and create a UDF. I have already created a package with the name as com.spark.advance. Right click on the package, go to new and click on Scala object. Give a name to your object. I will give a name as Spark UDF and then click on finish. Now let me create a main function. So I will write def main args which is array of type string. Ok, now let me create a Spark session object. So I will write val Spark equals to Spark session dot builder dot app name i will set the app name as create udf dot master and i will set the master as local and at the last get or create function okay so this will create a spark session object now we will create a data frame so i will write val df equals to spark dot read dot option in which I will mention header as true and then dot csv. I will mention the path of my input file over here and then df dot show. This will show me the first 20 records from my data frame. Now let me get the path of the input file. So this is my input data set which contains the information about various countries. In the column which I am interested is code, which is country code, name, which is the name of the country and the region. So right click on the tab and select full file path to clipboard. This will copy the file name with its path. Go to Eclipse and paste it over here. Okay, so in our UDF, I will try to convert region to small case and replace spaces with underscore. Of course, more complex logic can be applied in the UDF function. But for the time being, we will learn how to write a simple UDF. So let me write a function which will act as a UDF for us. def to lower is my function name and I will mention region as string. Now I will split the region based on the space. So I will write val arr equals to region dot split and the split is by space. Okay. Then I will write r dot map where f tends to f dot substring and this will be from 0, 1 dot to lowercase. Now this will convert the first character of the string to lowercase. Then I will add f dot substring 1 comma f dot length and make them as a string with underscore. So this function will convert the first character of the string region to lowercase and will append them with underscore. Now let me use this function. So I will write well, code UDF equals to UDF and the function name which is to lower. 
to use UDF, we need to import SQL functions. So I will write over here import org dot apache dot sql dot function dot underscore. Now we can use this UDF in our code. So I will write df dot select col the first column which is code comma the second column which is name third column which is region and then i will use my udf function that is code udf in the bracket i'll mention column as region and i want the output of this as region underscore code udf and at last dot show now this will print the output of the udf in a new column called region underscore code udf Let's save the code and execute it. So right click run as Scala application. Okay, so this is the expected output as the first letter is in small case and space are replaced by underscore. So our UDF has worked perfectly fine. Now let's see how we can use this UDF in Spark SQL. So to use this UDF with Spark SQL, we need to register this function. So I will write spark.udf.register. I will give a function name as SQL UDF and my actual function which is two lower. This will register to lower UDF function as SQL UDF and will be available for use in Spark SQL. Now I need to create a temporary view in Spark. This can be achieved by a function called create or replace temp view. So I will write df dot create or replace temp view. In the bracket I will mention the view name which is temp table. Now I will use this view in my SQL. So I will write spark.sql in the bracket select code comma name comma region comma SQL UDF which is my UDF function name as region underscore SQL UDF from temp table and at the end dot show. Over here, I have selected code, name, region, and then have called a UDF that is SQL UDF and have passed the region as a parameter. The output of the UDF is represented as a column named region underscore SQL UDF. So let's save the code and execute it. Right click, run as Scala application. Let me scroll up. Okay, so this is the output of SQL UDF. The first character is small and the space is replaced by underscore. So our UDF has worked perfectly fine with data frame and Spark SQL. So friends, we are done with today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.